Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here from the Sons of Technology to add a little addendum to a video that I made in the past called Streamlining Communication in Google Classroom. Now in that video, I showed you how you can have students leave comments and private comments in Google Classroom and when they arrive in your Gmail, you can actually have them sent to private labels right in your Gmail. But the problem with this is a lot of educators actually use Outlook as their primary email format. And sometimes the emails go to Gmail, sometimes they go to Outlook. We want to make sure that all of your emails from students and staff and everybody else gets sent to one location. And so that's going to be Outlook. So if this is for you, I want to show you how to send all Google Classroom emails straight to your Outlook folder and then also create special folders and rules to be able to organize those in a much better fashion. First thing you want to do is in your Gmail, scroll over to the cogwheel in the upper right hand corner. Under that cogwheel, you're going to find the settings option. And in the settings, you want to scroll all the way over to where it says forwarding. Under that forwarding, you're going to select forward a copy of the incoming email to and then whatever your Outlook email is. And then what you're going to do is you're, you're, that's what you're going to do to send all your emails to your Outlook. Once that is done, you're going to click on Save Changes. Now, let me show you how this looks being sent to my Gmail, and then I'm going to show you how to have it sent to your Outlook. So, in your if your student leaves you a private comment, right down here, let's say it says, Help me, please, and they send that over, and then also, if a student leaves a private comment, hello, Mr. Marquez, are you there? Look how easy it is. Look how it goes right in to the emails of your Gmail. So notice in my Gmail, I have created the label of private comments, made it red, and it goes right to this private comments folder. And then also, it's private com uh, the the class comments goes to its own folder right there as well. But we want to see if it finally forwarded to our Outlook. So we're going to click right down here to see. So in our Outlook, we can see that the private comment was sent to our folder or to our Outlook and so was the class comment. Now what we want to do is create folders and rules to send them to specific locations. So first thing I'm going to do is click up here where it says folder and select new folder. The first folder I'm going to call this is GC Comments. Just regular comments from Google Classroom. I'm going to click OK. So there it is. There's that folder. And the next one I'm going to create is going to be called GC Private. Private Comments and then click OK. So I have these two folders right here. Now what I want to do is since those emails have already been sent, I'm going to create rules right here. So my rule is going to be that for a private comment right here, I'm going to make sure that the subject has the words private comment. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select rules and create rule. In that rule, I want to make sure the subject contains I'm going to remove that name, added a private comment. Okay, that's what I want to make sure I select. And then I'll, I want to make sure that that folder it gets sent to, if it's a private comment, it goes right to my private comment folder right here and select OK. So um, the subject's going to contain add a private comment and make sure that anything that has in the subject added a private comment moves to my private comment folder. And then I'm going to select OK. run that rule. So now I notice it left and if I click on my private comments that email has been sent there. So now I'm going to do the same thing for my Google Classroom comment. So I'm going to select here, right click, select rules and create rule. I'm going to make sure the subject contains commented on and I want to move anything with that subject commented on, that's going to be sent to my just regular Google Classroom comment folder. And yes, I want to run the rule for anything that's already there. So there we go. So now we've separated those out. 
And to show you that it does work, I'm gonna go back as my student. I'm gonna go into a different student right here. And I'm going to select that agenda again. And he's gonna leave a private comment. Save this comment. And I'm just gonna, just so you can know, I'm just put lots of A's so you know that's the one that went. And this one is, just so you know that this is the exact one that was sent. So first we're gonna take a look in our Google Gmail to see if it was sent there. So here in our Gmail, both that comment right here and the private comment were both sent right to the Gmail. Now we're gonna take a look to see if the rules worked in our Outlook. So I'm gonna come back into here, here's the private comments, and it says, look, hello Mr. Marquez, are you there? And there we go, here's the other one, and you can see save this comment with all the A's, that one is there as well. So the email forwarding worked, uh, my folders and my rules worked, so now you can streamline comments from Google Classroom all the way to your Outlook if that's the way your school and district has those email communications set up. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please definitely follow our channel. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me on Twitter at JoeMarquez70, or if you have any questions for the EdTech Army, please contact any Sons of Technology member at sonsoftech.edu. Thank you so much for listening, and have yourself a wonderful day.